And our team coverage on the tragedy continues with CBS 5's Sarah Beth Ackerman. She's with the live eye at Cayuga Community College in Auburn, where they have preparations and have been preparing for what really is the unthinkable. Sarah Beth? They're still in the planning stages right now, but they say in light of what happened, they know they want to do some type of emergency drill involving both staff and students, specifically for an active shooter situation. You never think it could happen here, but the recent college shooting in Oregon is on the minds of many today at Cayuga Community College in Auburn. I guess, yeah, it makes me nervous to a point. What is kind of nerve wracking that it could happen here, but I know that the security guards here are pretty good. I see them walking about and stuff like that and hanging out in the front. So I'm hoping that if something were to happen, there would be a quick response. Just the thought of something like that happening to another college, it made me sad because it really did hit close to home. For many students, college is their second home and they want to feel safe. Cayuga Community College's Director of Public Safety says this is their top priority. It's something we think about every day and because of that we, we constantly update those policies and procedures. We constantly have discussions. We constantly have discussions with students starting from orientation all the way through the semester about emergency procedures and how they should react should it should it occur here on Cayuga campus. The college also has an emergency alert system called RAVE. This means anytime there's a threat on the grounds, students will receive a text message and email on their phone. Included in those RAVE alert messages are instructions that are adaptable to that particular emergency. Hoping they never have to put those plans into action, but prepared if they have to. The people here at Cayuga Community College say their hearts go out to everyone that was affected by this tragedy. For now, reporting live in Auburn, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. And we Michael. certainly join them. Thank you, Sarah Beth.